We are rolling really, really, really bad. As you see, my things of boiler suit also. Oh my God. Good day guys, welcome back to another episode of Life at Sea, season number 4. We are currently on the bridge, preparing the passage for the next port, which is in one of the most poorest countries in the world. And I am presently waiting for my deck cadet who will come on the bridge and I will show him how we do the passage planning. So of course, I will show you all as well, like always. Hi Sandeep, good Hi. morning. <laughs> so Sandeep <Hi>. first, <laughs> so Sandeep today we will just uh, show you and the audience that how we do a passage plan preparation. So first things first, we have to unload the old route and load the new route. Yeah. So uh, that I have already done. And next thing is the AIS. So the AIS needs to be updated with the next port. AIS is basically automatic identification system. That means just like in the airplane, there is something known as ATC that gives uh, directions to the uh, planes. Similarly, we have VTS. Uh, on various ports like the port we are on, the on a VTS, they can see what our ship kind is, how many people we carry and all of that. So that's the information. Yes, yeah, Sandeep. Yeah. So all the paperwork is done and now we have to file it in our passage plan folder. So Sandeep, if you open, you'll see these things should be there inside the folder. So we'll file that now. So guys, that is how on ground training for carriage, it's very important and I am trying to do my best by showing you all as much as possible. I made a full detailed uh, video of how to make a passage plan from scratch. You can check that out for those who are interested. For now, I am going to rest because teaching is also very, very uh, hectic. So it's the next morning and uh, looks like it's time for departure because our cranes are parked as you see. Only one is not parked right now because cargo operations are going. And our ship is absolutely empty. Like no cargo. I can see like only three, four boxes here. Some 40 boxes in the aft. And it's going to be a rough ride uh, to the next destination. Captain, uh, standing by forward. Okay, now uh, we're waiting for your uh, alignment. Yes, Captain. So we have to prepare our anchors for emergency and all the procedures. Chilka bridge forward, both anchors ready for emergency. Thank you. All right, guys. Time to go from here. successfully turned around and we've got another boy coming up and the ship on the side so i'm keeping a lookout from this position good position actually and uh, yeah enjoy the view
and those who have played Far Cry will relate to this particular village and we've got a watch tower here it's just like a movie scene, game scene oh guys i took the vessel out in that narrow channel the, the captain was uh, you know courteous enough to give me the opportunity to do, to do that it was nice it was nice to be engaged like 100 percent concentration because even one slight deviation can uh, get the ship aground and we saw one ship which was already aground it toppled long time back so um, now it's time to rest and i have to make my bed because i am not doing that because of the port and we were very tired i'm being lazy also yeah the port stay has been so hectic i have decided to give myself a treat and the chief could make such great muffins today i had two already this is my third one just before the watch and believe me you require you require i require carbohydrates and some sugar to boost up my glycogen levels because energy is really really down wow mm. heaven 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 So we have left uh, the port and in route to the next destination which is One, is the, uh, which is Kotonu, which just got, from, got back from the yeah, hectic schedule, that's why mind is still in One. But we are somewhere out at sea now, uh, quite a hazy uh, kind of a day. Uh, in the hazy day generally I feel very lazy and uh, uh, I don't feel like working. Anyway, the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, so uh, still okay, not bad. Also, we have Rahul with me here, who's on lookout. Uh, Rahul, how was your stay in One? Yeah, good. It was good. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> Too many days. Yeah, it was like African ports. Yes, no? yes. Not good. Not good. And uh, we had two, three days of not sleeping too much. So, yeah. all tired eyes. Huh? Yes. All tired eyes. <laughs> well, in my watch, we have encountered some really black, dark clouds. So, rain is approaching us. Doesn't look very good. And the wind speed has also picked up quite a lot. So uh, yeah, guys were doing hot work in the base down below. So I have told them to stop and come back into the accommodation because we've got no shed. Well, absolutely zero visibility now. And as you see, behind is all clear, but the rain clouds are in the front. The wind is also picked up. you all now how an empty container ship looks from the forward have a look at this right these are the hatch covers that's our accommodation and you can see nothing absolutely nothing over here barren uh, just like a bulk carrier during this time, usually the chief mates do the maintenance of these container sockets as you see over there because there are no containers, uh, you know, blocking them and also the hatch cover painting of the markings and all. So fortunately or unfortunately, we have dropped our anchor, the port anchor, seven shackles in water. We are nicely riding on it. There are many ships which 
are going to go before us so we might be here for another 2 3 days which is not good because the ship is empty and there is a lot of rolling i'll try to capture it in the time lapse so yeah there we are again at the anchorage that was the entrance to the bow thruster room this is the telephone here some fire hoses and this is the bow thruster running from left to right a thwart ship and yeah that is the fire pump if i'm not wrong that is the emergency fire pump let me have a look yes i was right it's the emergency fire pump swells and that's how this place looks guys today we were supposed to go inside uh, i'm not feeling very well because you see the rolling is quite a lot we are rolling to more than 10 15 degrees i'll show you you can see the horizon because we are empty it's the clinometer oh going to 10 15 at times so i want to go to the port but looks like there is another ship occupying the berth right now we are rolling really 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 bad as you see my things of boiler suit also oh my god i this is a bad one shit even my book how to join merchant navy has fall down oh man not a good place to be here anchored give you all a 360 view now stay tuned And this is one of the best remedies for rolling. Have some vitamin C, some orange, orange juice. That is why the chief cook has prepared this for us today. Rest is all uh, lot of meat today. Oh, guys! Finally, we are going inside. I'm going to pick up the pilot now, and it's going to be a night dip, night arrival. Interesting night lapse. Hope the GoPro can capture it. Captain, uh, pilot boat along alongside.
have finally made it to the port of Cotonou. Our cargo operations are going on. We are using our uh, ship's crane and a gantry crane. So I hope you all like this video and got some good information, something new, some uh, great time lapses, night lapses. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video and I'll see you back from another day from the life at sea. Season number four. Take care.